Nearly three workers die each day on the job in Canada, but according to the labor organizations, the number could be much higher. Close to a thousand workers were killed on the job in Canada in 2012, according to the official figures of the Association of Workers' Compensation Boards of Canada. The grim statistics of workers who died on the job were recited as the union members and families were gathered to remember the workers who have been killed on the job or have died as a result of workplace diseases. The event was organized by the Toronto and York Region Labour Council. Uh, John, today is a day of mourning, but also you said it's a day of fight for the living. Can you elaborate on that? Well, we recognize those people who've passed, who've been killed or injured on the job or have been dying because of occupational disease. When we talk about fighting for the living, we're talking about demanding more respect from employers for health and safety laws, for the knowledge that workers have in doing their job, that they can do it more safely if they are allowed to. But we're also talking about uh, the need for police and uh, Crown attorneys to be able to know how to lay charges against employers in the case of negligence that results in a death. And we do say that if a, some boss kills a worker, they should go to jail, the same as anybody else where a death. We actually have legislation that allows prosecutors and police to charge and convict under the criminal code employers who cause um, people to, to die on the job, who through their, their own negligence cause people to die on the job. And we're asking that those po that police actually charge people under the criminal code and prosecutors make sure that they are criminally charged and criminally held responsible. Someone's death, someone's life shouldn't be just about money. It should be about jail time. The Canadian Labour Congress claims that 92% of workplace injuries and deaths group. are preventable. And also women of what I would like to see is a more safety. We want the uh, provincial government, the health and safety, uh, to uh, put more, impose more safety. Because we want uh, members, the construction people, the uh, anybody to go home safe, to go home to see their, their family, their kids. That's what we hope that uh, we lose uh, too many, too many human beings uh, during the year uh, die on the job, and we want this to be stopped. This year we mark the 100th anniversary of the workers' compensation system in Ontario, which was passed into law on April 28, 1914. While the original intent of the legislation was to ensure workers would be compensated for the duration of their injury, these principles have been continuously eroded. They have uh, reduced the benefits to the workers in the tune of $638 million. They are rejecting claims in 50% less than uh, the year before. They are introducing now a policy that will make impossible for any injured worker to claim for any deterioration. They are introducing now the concept that uh, pre-existing conditions will basically determine that no injured workers will deteriorate because of the injuries. The system is at the point now that uh, the, uh, the system is making uh, uh, the injured workers community in panic because they are saving money, so-called savings, by reducing benefits. And they've given up completely on the idea that workers' compensation should be a fair system that compensates workers who are injured on the, war, on, on the job and that uh, will be rehabilitated to return to the jobs. Well, it's so important being at this monument. It was actually sculpted by the father of the director of the Carpenters Training Center. And the, today we had many young men from the laborers union who are going into the construction industry. And we want them to recognize the sacrifice of those who came before them and dedicate themselves to making sure that their construction site is safe, that they go home at the end of every day. And having a visual monument like this is such an important uh, fact in Woodbridge, in Vaughan, where so many that came here from Italy originally are now living with their families and we hope in safety.
Thank you, John Carteright, President of the Ontario Labour Council and the uh, York Region. Thank you. The Labour Council says that more than 100 counties now observe the National Day of Mourning. The Canadian Labour Congress first declared the day in 1984. Enzo Di Mauro, ItalNewsTV.com. Three years old, he was a sheet metal worker, local